Hey there, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with part two of our Tinkercad Treehouse tutorial. If you haven't done the first one, I will put a link up here in the corner so that you can get to it. If you have done the first one, let's open our project, and my friend, let's get cracking. So, my friends, the first thing I want to do is I want to make my tree look a little bit more green. Check out how easy it is. Bring out a sphere, pick the green color. I'm going to use the cone to lift it up, but remember if you have trouble finding the cone, you can also hold the control and just tap the up arrow. Then I'm going to move these so that they're attached to the branches. Once you get one where you want it, do control D and drag the next one to the next spot and then just keep moving them where you want to. Note if you press control D without having touched anything else, it does store the movements which can be really useful and I'll show you a way that we use that actually later. As you make them, just keep moving them and then I like to use control up arrow to get them to the location I want. You could do irregular shapes if you wanted. You can also hold down shift while grabbing any side and make them different sizes so it looks cooler as well. You can see though pretty quickly this starts to look like a real tree and has a real nice texture to it as well. Unbelievably simple, but they start to really, really look pretty sweet. Do make sure you look at your treehouse from every angle so that you can see you're really attaching them the way you want. And ending up with the awesome treehouse that your little treehouse family deserves. I'm going to zoom into this corner right here and add a little tiny one. Control D to duplicate again. Hold down shift so it shrinks proportionately and just attach this right to that little part right there. Once again, I'm going to use control up to nudge it into place. Real quickly, I want to add some cool furniture to my little tree house. I'm going to start by clicking the work plane and make sure that I set my furniture on the floor in the tree house. Then I can hide the tree house and the next part that I bring in, which is going to be a couch, I can just drop in that area. I'm going to turn this into a lovely couch first by picking a color. I'm going to do a light brown color. Then I'm going to give it a radius so that it's a little bit rounded. And then I'm going to shrink it so that it's more of a couch shape. So that'll look a bit like a couch and it'll be about the right height for my people. Now I need to cut out the seats. I'm going to do that by doing control D to duplicate it. I'm going to raise its partner up and make it a hole. And then I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to shrink it from the top. So that way it shrinks in every direction. I can see that that's closer than I want. So I'm going to just type the number 6.5 and then I'm going to do control up arrow. So that pops out and I'm going to pull it forward with the arrow keys as well. And then when I hold down shift, I can select both of them. Notice it tells me I've got two shapes and when I group it, I have all of a sudden got a pretty nifty little couch that my people can sit on. If I bring back the house, we can take a peek at it and make sure that it fits the way we want. We can also click on the house and instead of solid, make it transparent for a minute so we can make sure that our sizes are correct. That couch looks a little fat for me, so I'm going to peek at it from here. So now I can click on the couch and then I'm going to right click and that lets me see the handles. So now I can tweak and adjust it so it fits the way I want for my tiny little treehouse. If I go back to my building and I change it to its nice non-transparent texture, you can see that my family now has a sweet couch inside the house. I'd like to quickly add another window so that they can see out their house real easy. I'm going to do that by bringing in a whole block. And then I'm just going to hold down shift and shrink it quite a bit so that it's the size I would want a window to be. And then I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it to the back. And as I spin around, I'll be able to see where it pokes out. Once again, I can use control up to raise it up and then I can nudge it to where I want that window to be. I'm going to hold down shift and shrink it a little more because I don't want people to fall out of it. I think that'll be acceptable. Control up to raise it up a little and I'm going to put it to the left side. When I click shift and click on the building, 
I can now group it and add that cool window to my treehouse. I'm going to switch from adding cool things. Of course, you can add as many of those as you want. And instead, I'm going to add a tire swing hanging off my tree. I will start by setting the work plane down to the ground. And then I'm going to switch to all shapes and I'm going to switch to page six to find a piece of rope. So remember, you got to click all the way through to get to page six. And then I'm going to use the twisted polygon. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to make it real tiny so it's about how thick I think rope would be. And then I'm going to stretch it long enough so that I can hang it off my tree. I'm going to hold down shift and shrink it again so it's a little thinner. There's my 1.5. I like that. Then I can stretch the length. I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it into place. And then control up to lift it up so I can attach it to a branch. And then when I finally have it in the branch which is harder to tell from the directions than I would initially thought. I can get the exact height, and now I just need to go back to the basic shapes to get my tire, which I'm going to do with a tube. When you put the tube on the ground, make it look tire size. I'm going to give it a bevel so it looks a little bit more like a tire, and I'm going to make it black as well so it looks like a tire. I'm going to try 1.5 for my bevel. I like that. Make it black. And then if I flip it on this direction, which I always like to do from the corners because I can see that better. And if I stay close to it, it uses those long tick marks to move to the exact 90 degrees that I want. Raise my tire up to the height I would want my tire to be. And then I can shrink this down and use control up to get it where it needs to be as well. And boom, I've got a fun tire swing that my little family could use as well. I'm going to make it a little smaller by doing the shift, select, and drag. And then just use control up to raise it to that right height. And then I'm going to take those two items. So I'm dragging a box that touches them both. And let's align them so they're centered. And I can see back here, I need to center it this way as well. I clicked on the front one instead of the center one. Now that looks a lot better. I'm going to group them, but I do want them to stay two colors. So after I group them, I'm going to hit the multi-color button. The last change I want to make for today's project is I want to take the little piggy and I don't want him up in the house. So I'm going to do D to drop him down on the ground. I don't want to stretch him. I'm going to put him back. I'm going to use the arrow keys to just move him to where I want his little pig pen to be. And then let's go back to the awesome all shapes. And in the all shapes, I want to give him a little brick wall to live in. When you bring out the brick wall, notice it is crazy huge. We could use all these amazing choices to make it super perfect. Instead, I am just going to hold down shift and I'm going to shrink it to the size that would hold in a piggy. I'm going to hit D to drop it to the right height for me to do control D and duplicate. And I can just put them side by side so I have a nice little pig pen for my awesome little piggy. I'm going to hold down shift and select both of those and do control D. Move them over here. I am going to group that pair of pieces, making sure that I do have them touching. And I'm going to group these two. And I'm going to hold down shift to select both of those because I want to make sure that my walls are aligned in this direction, which they were. And now I can grab both of those and do control D. Rotate it 90 degrees. Once again, staying close to the middle so that it's super simple. And boom, I've got a nice little pig pen to store my little buddy in. Let's do control D on our little pig friend and move him outside. And let's use the cool symbols. And when you move down, find the one where it says crop circles and check it out. We would instantly have a little bit of crops. Notice I press D to drop it. I'm going to make those a green so they look like plants. Let's do control D. And then I want to make sure those are side by side. So I'm going to hit drop and I'm going to get it right beside the other one. I'm going to do that with the align tool. 
I want them to be aligned in the middle. And now if I grab both of those and do control D, I can nudge that next set of crops out. And I could grab all of those and do control D. And this time I'm gonna pull them this way. And now if I don't touch anything else and just keep tapping control D, I can have a lovely little garden so that our people could live off the land. Alrighty friends, so my goal here is for you to see just how much room there is for you to make your project totally awesome and wonderful. Uh, I hope you have fun making these super cool. If you do make something awesome, please take a screenshot of it and share it with us at HLModTech on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Uh, if you're having fun, make sure you hit the like button. If you've got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HLModTech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.